Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an anamorphic illusion using MoGraph, where this word is only visible from a specific angle. Now, just to make sure that you see that none of these little cubes here is moving and only the camera is rotating around. You can see in my top view, the camera is here, and this is what the camera sees, this seemingly random arrangement of cubes. And as the camera comes around, you can see it's coming around. When it views this from a very specific angle, you see a word, and that word is perspective. So let's go and set this up from scratch. In this scene, I just have this text object and I'm going to put it under a connect object because I want to just use the geometry. So now I want to set up my final angle and very quickly I'm going to settle at this angle here and I'm going to go and create a camera. Fantastic. So this is our projection cam. There you go. Fantastic. Now what I need to do is create a cloner and this clone is going to have cubes. You can do whatever you want, create any objects you want. I'm going to make my cubes nice and small. And I'm going to set the cloner to be in object mode. I'm going to use the connect as that object. I can turn this off and tell the cloner to go and fill not the surface, but the volume. And I think 10,000 of these are good. And let's set it to multi instance. So it's faster. So now you can see that we have this text over here that's made out of these clones. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick to my four views so you can see what's going on. First of all is select the cloner and what I want to do is go to MoGraph and add a target effector. I want each and every one of the clones to target the actual camera. So go to the effector and I want the clones to look at my camera and uh, their orientation has slightly changed. And uh, just so that you know, if I move the camera forwards, you will see that the cubes are rotating so that they are looking at the camera. Look at that, they're rotating. Excellent. So I'll do a couple of times to go back to this. The second thing I'm going to do is select the cloner again. I'm going to go and create a random effector. And uh, the random effector, I'm going to make it just move things randomly on the Z axis. Now watch this. I want you to look at this and this view. You can see that because the cubes are facing the camera, when they're moved in the Z axis, it's their own Z axis because the transform space is in node. And because the target has changed the orientation before the random, now they're going to go towards the camera. And the funny thing is, because it's going towards the camera, they don't seem to be moving left, right, up and down. They're only moving towards the camera. And your effect is pretty much done. All I need to do now is maybe make them a bit smaller when they are close to the camera, so they don't obscure the cubes that are behind them. So let's just go after I do this, let's go to the cloner. Let's go and add very quickly a plane effector. Let's go and uh, scale, make a uniform scale, make it smaller. Let's make it just nearly minus one, but not 100% minus one. Let's go to fields. Let's add a linear field. Let's put it in the plus Z or the minus C for that matter. Turn off the color, make your field larger. And there you go. So all you have to do now is make a copy of this camera, make it the active camera, add a null in the middle of the world, make the camera a child, and you can see now that my null is over there and my camera is over here. And now rotate your camera and you get from this all the way to this when you don't have rotation. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.